Today we're gonna continue making a future rave song start to finish. Yo what's up guys welcome to a new video and welcome to the second part of making a future rave song start to finish. My name is Warcrow and in the previous video I did the basic idea and I started with the breakdown and with the drop. And in this video I'm gonna improve the drop, I'm gonna change it a little bit to add more harmonies, more emotion and add more energy in the end and also I'm gonna work in the breakdown and in the build up. So don't wait more and let's get to it. But don't forget to subscribe please, you know, if you don't want to miss more videos and you want to learn more and you want me to keep continue making these videos just subscribe it's free for you so the first thing i'm gonna do in this video is take the drop and clone it here but obviously the second part i'm gonna change it to add more emotional harmonies the first thing i'm gonna do is just delete this make this unique and make this longer why because here what i'm gonna do is instead of having just this bass line i'm gonna have this bass progression of the wrist bass because as you can see when we go from here to here adds a lot of tension, emotion, it sounds so good. So I'm gonna paste it here so I can see the notes and basically what we're gonna do is, this is F. Now let's do the same with this one. And of course, do the same in the sub bass. So what we're doing is going from a kind of flat static drop because basically we have all the time the same note yeah here we do a small change but it's just on this bar to this bass progression that adds more emotion and harmony but also here what we need is some chords to add more emotion to add more harmonies and to make it sound fuller and, and better what chords the chords from these voice sounds and strings from the breakdown so for this i have these two chord sounds and both chords sounds together sound like this and if we put it here, it sounds like this. A lot of tension. On the second part of the drop, we're also gonna do some changes in the leads because in the previous video, I selected two lead sounds that I wouldn't use since the beginning of the drop and I would add them here. And what we have to do is just add it in these two sounds. But maybe instead of having just like this, I'm gonna try to have them in two octaves so it makes it sound even fuller. And also on this one. So this was the leads before and these are the new leads. Add extra sound that are a bit more tuned and sound bigger and also we're using two octaves so it makes it sound even fuller. And last but not least what I'm gonna add in this second part in drop are some claps. I'm gonna use some stadium claps from Kashmir. And also I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna reduce some of the mids of these claps and also I'm gonna add a small reverb. And last but not least, extra tip, a really small sidechain on the claps to give a space to the attack of the kick. Do a really small sidechain like this one. So this way we leave this small place for the kick. I'm thinking also to add some kind of shakers to add more rhythm and make it sound faster. And this is the job we have right now with the changes on the second part. So I think so far the idea is so good, of course it needs more mixing, but I will do that in other videos. So if you didn't want to miss it, subscribe. And I'm thinking to do another change in the bass line, but I would like to know what do you think about this? Because right now, our bass line has this rhythm. But it's not the rhythm of the leads. So I'm thinking to do the bass to fit better the rhythm of the leads. So instead of having this, if this is the rhythm of the leads, uh, we will have to do something more like this and here more like this. So this was before and this now. If we play with the leads, this is the first version we had and this is the new version. So down below in the comments there's gonna be a pinned comment where you have to click thumbs up if you want the first version or thumbs down if you want the second version. And I'm gonna use the one you choose. And now let's come back to the breakdown to make it sound more epic, fuller, better, and maybe with more ambient sounds and things like this. So, so far we had this.
But of course, we need to add more sounds here to make it sound fuller and something extra here to make it sound more epic. So first I'm gonna add some ambient things. I'm just gonna go to my sample pack and I'm gonna add this string and I don't know if wind or rain. I'm gonna add, add some wind. Let's pitch the strings to A so it fits the, the key of the song. So we have these two sounds. And with them. Adds a lot of tension and makes it sound fuller. But also what I think I'm gonna add is some kind of percussions, drums, you know, like orchestral heat, something like this. And the best guy for orchestral drums for me is Kashmir. Um, let's go here and let's go to maybe low. I like this one. Let me let's do for others. Or maybe some drum enhancers. Now, maybe here what I'm gonna do is like cut this and I'm gonna do like a, a small drum roll. So now it's like this. But obviously I don't want it like this. So what I'm gonna do is how to make like a filter here, just with this modulation, this is a filter. And also a bit the volume. It goes more like this. Add some extra movement, you know, in the background. And what if we add a lot of reverb to this breaking glass? But I mean, a lot of reverb. But I'm gonna put this here, I'm gonna repeat this, and here I'm gonna change it for another one. And last but not least, I need this kind of epic brass stabs from Free Rave. So let's see which one works better. I like a lot this one. I don't like that much this one, but I like the reverse. I'm just gonna do it like this. Or if we repeat it here. And here. But then here what we need to do is to change it because at this point the bass changes so F, G, A, C, D. But also what I'm gonna do is add the drop chords here. And I think I forgot to do is to don't have the sidechain on the leads neither on the chords here. And right now to connect the breakdown with drop we only need the build up. To make a good build up I'm gonna go to my build ups pack. Let's see this one in A. I like it but I'm gonna choose the effects separately and the snares. Because I like the snares, but not this rhythm. And maybe let's look this one. Yeah, I also like the snares. And here, here. I don't know if I like more this snare or this one. I'm gonna choose this one. And I want it faster since the beginning to add a lot of energy. I'm gonna filter the leads at the end of this part. So this way I have them filtered here. And it's nice because here it creates like a reverse effect because of the delay. I'm gonna add also these two sounds here and I forgot to put this here in this section. And maybe I also want the string in the build up. So before showing you the end result of what we have so far, don't forget to go down below in the comments and tell me if you prefer the old baseline or the new baseline I made. And also if you have some suggestions, just let me know. In the next video, probably I'm gonna try to improve it a little bit more. Maybe I'm gonna make a second breakdown and also maybe we're gonna mix it or maybe I'll leave it for another video and you know, for a fourth part. I don't know, but um, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything, whatever I do in this series. Okay, so thanks so much for watching and let's check the end result.